it's you. It is I, Sigurius Fedorius, the mightiest of all. <laughs> uh, explain thyself. You have no right to burst in here, friend. Friend? First proof to me that you're not the one who stole the glove. Stolen, you say? One of the eight gloves of... Uh... Octopus Elder Rock the Dush, you also say? I do say that, I say. Saying, you say? In any case, I did not take that glove. And I can prove it to you just as well as to your great stepsister, Mary Gran. Take a look in your... Uh... Pocket. <gasps> uh, let me explain myself. It was the night before today. Yesterday, you mean, old fool? <coughs> old fool. Say, I challenge you to a sword fight until, until death parts is due. My oh my, is that right? This will be your end, Sucarius! Wait a second, what's that on your sword? EXPLAIN THYSELF NOW! <laughs> you found out my secret! I am... I am... Whoa, that was amazing! Oh, thank you so much! We have a theater play here in Dorptown, and we do total improv and freedom and choice and... Shh. Hi, I'm Jester. Uh, who are you? You guys should perform at the Royal Theatrical Spectacle! The Royal Theatric Spec... The Royalty Spay Part Spectac... The Royalty Pay Spectectorus? The Royalty Pay <coughs> I'm just a princess, I have one thing in my life A festival so beautiful, I'm here to tell you about it So let's take a dive The Royal Theatrical Spectacle It's the best of all the festivals Where everyone loves acting And people appreciate a good song That means you need at least 12 flower bouquets in every area. <laughs> Princess Christina, come here at once. Save your singing for your little festival. <sighs> yeah, I'm coming. Okay, listen. We have to play that festival no matter what. Our improv theater play at a royal festival. My god, I can't deny that I've dreamt about this too. That's the spirit. We could just do our show and sing directly from our hearts on stage and... Right, uh, I was thinking maybe we could maybe alter our improv choices a bit so that we don't rub the different audiences the wrong way. Hmm, won't that ruin what, what we're trying to do with our super free show? Nah. I think it will be fine. It might actually make a, a better show. You know what? I'll head into town to find out more about tonight's audience. I'll see what kind of genre they'll like. Comedy, drama, romance, spooky, action, or music. And then I'll make a poster. Well, okay. If you say so, Chester. Let me know when you've finished and, and ready to start the show. Hey, Sok. Hi, Jester. Hey, are you excited for the Royal Theatrical Spectacle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll show everyone how great free theater can be. Kid, right? From the theater show, I mean? That's that's me. Look, I'm uh, selling swords and shields today because tonight's crowd they really love action, and I love those sweet ducats. 
Ah, uh, thanks for the hint. Uh, uh, the name's Huck. Huck Buttons. Uh, right. Uh, thanks, Huck. Daggers! Get your daggers! I've got three words for you. Move your behind. You deem yourself royal enough to talk to a princess? Peasant? I don't know. Am I? Mm, let me ask the princess. Princess, is he royal enough to talk to you? No, he's a very dirty little man. Uh, you, uh... You heard her. Now scram, Pez. Swords and shields! Get your swords and shields! Daggers! Get... Hey, Sok. Jester? I want to start the show. Alright. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> I am but a humble prince. I have everything my heart desires. Everything like, uh... The finest armor money can buy. And... Um, my family. There's nothing more I need. But, uh... What if I can no longer protect this realm I hold so dear? Rorora, I am but a mighty dragon, the oldest and strongest son of the mighty sword Dobrix Dragon Senior. Fight me, Prince. I will take everything you have. Taste my steel, foul beast. No! Stop! I 
will show you no mercy, dragon. Ah, another victory. I'll stop every threat and protect this beautiful realm at all cost. I will be... I will be the hero the people need. The hero they deserve. Whoa, can you believe we already got some flower bouquets? Just a few more and, uh... Jesser, can I tell you something? Anything, Socarius! <laughs> no, I mean something serious. Mm hmm? I feel weird about the show tonight. Making choices based on genre, it's, it's not how we used to perform. Yeah, it's a little different, but this way the audiences will love us. But our show is about total improv and freedom and, and doing our own thing. It's supposed to be what's what's in my in, in our hearts and why do you care so much about what other people think? So just give this a chance and it'll get better. And that's a jester's promise. Okay, yeah. Sorry. It'll be alright. Mm, a little too long. Hey, Sok. Yes, man. See you later. Hey, Huck. Hey, Jester. Uh, how do you know my name? Well, I looked at your outfit and, uh... Oh, you're one of those psychic name-guessers. Uh, sure, kid. Breakups! Break up! Break it up right here! Breakups! Free of charge for singles! Break time! Get your break up here! We have to get going, princess. This dirty little town, it's not for us. It ain't royal. Royal spoil aluminum foil. Who cares about that stupid stuff? We don't have time for this. I have lots more to do. I'm a royal judge at this year's paint drying festival. Ugh, you're like dry paint yourself. Stuck and slowly breaking to bits. What? Never have I ever. Oh, hey, that Jester fella. Uh, hey, um. Princess? M Miss Princess? I, I hope I'm addressing you correctly. It's Princess Christina, but you can call me Princess. Ahem. Ugh, I gotta get going. Maybe I'll see you at the Royal Theatrical Spectacle Festival? Uh, definitely, uh, no doubt. Uh, you can count on it. Uh, radio!
Hey, Sok. Hey, Chester. I want to uh, start the show. All right. Are you sure you're ready? <gasps> A dead body. Right in front of my eyes. Who could it have been? It's probably someone famous. No, wait. It's a... Uh, a nobody. Huh? Did I just see it move? Wait a minute. It's Comedy Joe, my childhood best friend. <laughs> oh, oh no, Comedy Joe, dead, and you must be the killer. <gasps> Where were you on the night of the murder? I was on a romantic date with Comedy Jill. We ate cornflakes and rice. <laughs> a likely story. But then how do you explain that the last thing Comedy Joe heard was the ringing of your jester bells? It was my brother. We were the same clothes, the same bells. The perfect answer. Clearly the murderer has been you all along. You'll spend your last days in the darkest corner of Wildwoods. No! Hey, Sok. Yes, man. See you later. Hey, uh, Jester. Hey, Huck. Uh, I've been meaning to ask. Uh... Who's your friend? Oh, that's Sok. Uh, that makes sense. What makes sense? Uh, never mind. Get my new album, A Life of Hog! A Life of Hog! Fresh up the press! Hey, Sok. Hey, Chester. I want to uh, start the show. All right. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> this is my last chance. I have to prove myself and sculpt the best statue the king has ever seen. If I ruin this... He will surely throw me in the prune juice. All right, let's start with the arm. It should be, uh... Holding an instrument. <laughs> a musical arm? What do you know about music? First sing me a song. Uh... Next, the other arm. It should be, uh... 
holding a rose. <laughs> Go ahead. You'll probably fill anyway. I, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> if you keep this up, the king will throw you in the prune juice. Uh, be quiet, you. You know nothing about me. I am a... Uh... A famous musician, actually. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. <gasps> now, for the final touch, I need my masterpiece to be more, uh... Musical! Hmm, my statue. I like it. Not sure what it is supposed to be, but... You! You've proven yourself worthy. Thank you, King.